everybody. I'm Willie here. Welcome to Charlie's Farm. Peace. The garden's kind of full, so um, I'll be posting some pics up on IG so when I get a little closer. So I'm going to give everything a fresh drink tonight. I'm going to de deconstruct the, uh, the garden in order to do so. Um, our back quadrant here, we have uh, cocoa. Everything is in cocoa. Uh, we have some extra cheese, some Hell's Angel right there, we have more extra cheese. Some Wonder Dog, there's a Wonder Dog right here in Coco that's not doing too well. It's got a claw on me. Yeah, I got a feeling. It's a couple of things. Um, yeah, I'm gonna dry out and see what's up. I think maybe I'm gonna go with one action, but yeah, I still haven't, haven't been pointed yet. We'll figure it out though. Um, Alright, let's, let's go in. Uh, we've got a, a one Fino of uh, the Ghost Days train. She looks good. She stacks nice. Turps are insane. Super limey. Super citrusy. And uh, very frosty. The number two Fino I had went about 15 weeks. And, uh, you know, it, it's really nice, but didn't produce shit. You know what I mean? So, you can't have that in the garden. Plus, you can't have them go 15 weeks. It's just absurd. So, it's not realistic. So, I'm sorry to say, but how she produces, I don't think she's going to make the cut. For some reason, she's fantastic. She's, you know, just a uh, one of a kind type deal. So, uh, I'll leave that That's all. Um, we got an extra cheese over here. This is the one that had a really bad hurt root ball. It's been in flush for about 18 days. Everything that's in flush, I got four plants in flush, five, six plants in flush right now. In about 18 days, uh, a bunch of Exodus cheese and a bunch of Hell's Angel, so we'll get a closer look at those, but this is one of them. So, sorry for the shaking. Um, Alright, uh, this part right here, we got an Exodus cheese, getting those necropic leaves, as you can see. Without the thing, I might start taking those off. I'm not sure yet, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but looks good all in all. Our temps have been running fine. You can see our humidity and our temps look, look good. I don't know if you can see that. Water between 60 and 70 degrees between nighttime and daytime. No more than a 10 degree fluctuation really in this garden, but not usually anyway. Got a purple voodoo right here. She's looking, she's looking good. She's starting to put on her frost. Yeah, leave back out. Kind of see her structure a little bit. I don't even really see that. She stacks nice. She put on a frost. She tastes good. It's great smell, but she's not going to make a cut either. This is one of the Wonder Dogs that is doing brilliant right now. And, uh, put it in there. Just put pour it on the frost. It's very good. Oh, she's got a terpene. just absurd. I mean, they just, just got some blast in my way. Nice product is good too, I'm going to say. Well, let me back out, maybe you can get an idea of this structure as well. Good fan leaves, she's very nice. She's doing her thing. You know. I love this one, it just doesn't, you know. I'm still working on getting those phenos that are really going to make it worth my while. You know. Texas Cheese is one, and Hell's Angel is one. Uh, and we got the Alien Rift and we got the Goobers from uh, Squirrel Alien Rift from Vader. And then uh, I have some uh, Bewitched BX, so let's focus that. There's some Bewitched BX and F1s that we're going to be cracking as well, along with some Jawa Pie. And we also have some Scarecrow from uh, Jinx Poop. You can see, here's, the, uh, here's one of the Hells Angels that's in. It's uh, about, a little over four weeks in. It's fantastic. And you can see it. See the structure on this plant. Let me back out a little more. She's a monster. She's a beast. She's looking good though. Very really good. On this side, we have mostly exodus cheese going all the way down. I'll get some closer vids up. I mean, I'll get some pics up on Instagram tonight as I just get stuck in this guy. You know, we have one way in the back right there that's that's uh that's in flush as well. She's ready to come down almost. All right, our last quadrant here we have is our Hell's Angel. We've got a couple Hell's Angel here. Looking frosty as hell. Finishing up, she's gonna flush for uh, 18 days as well. She has beautiful all the way through. And you can see the stacking on her. 
Let's see, we back out. Let's see, we have one here, and we have one right next to it, too. A little bleaching at the top there, you can see. Yeah, put new lights in. Everything else looks fantastic. I can't wait. This is my favorite plant in the garden right now, along with the cheese. And uh, I really can't wait to get those goobers and those alien rift in here, I'll tell you. And I'm going to be cracking those other ones. I'm going to do it just a mass cracking. I'm going to do a huge pheno hunt. Here's a hell. Here's an exodus that's that's uh that's been in flush as well for about 14 days or so. 18 days. Sorry, excuse me. She's beautiful. She's frosty. She's potent. Dense as hell. She gives some chunky nugs. Not huge. They're in good size. I'd say they're you know medium to large, but you know we had some problems just running with them. So let's see what happens. And then, right next door, we have a sour alien dog. Get back out of here. Sorry for missing an update last week, but my leg is really killing me, so. So here's our sour alien dog. She's a monster. Let's see if I can back out even more. I, mean, I, I don't know if you can really see her, but she's a monster. She doesn't make the biggest nugs, but she definitely makes really hot, lots of hard, really dense Super frosty, super potent. It's a beautiful daytime smoke, this one here. I'll tell you. Yeah. You see the frost on it. See that frost on it? It's starting to kick in. It's about four weeks in. You know, it's going to close up of the. Uh, yeah, you see the bleaching. See the bleaching on the top there? Yeah, you can see it. And uh, this one here as well, too. It's bleaching. So, hey, it happens. It's going to have to. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, we'll have to do better next time. So. Alright everybody, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, can't wait to get all this over to Coco. So, uh, stay tuned man for a, an update with the Rift and the Goobers. And, you know, we're trying to get Ocean Gordon in here to be the majority of Ocean Gordon's and TGA to be, you know, and then we'll work on getting some exotics and some brothers and everything else in here. So, I really do clock it for I want to get some of the internet. So, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, please. Do a kind act for somebody. And uh, peace, till next week. Peace.